This is a short little video to help you understand how to use the TI-89 calculator to solve some of these area, centroids, and moment of inertia problems that we encounter in uh, statics and other engineering classes. So I set this problem and I'm defining a bottom function here, x squared over 25 plus 5 minus x over 100 and a top function of the square root of x over 5 and I want to find the areas and the centroids and the moments of inertia for this area that's bounded by those two functions and they do intersect out here at x equals 5 and y equal 1. To set this up we would do a double integral. Um, the x would go from 0 to 5 and the y would go from the bottom function to the top function dy dx. To get uh, the x centroid times the area uh, then we, all we do is we just stick an x in the integral and integrate that one. And then to get the actual x centroid, of course, we take this x bar a and divide by the area. And we can do the same thing with y. We would just, for y bar a, we would just stick a y in the integral. We also get some moments of inertia. And um, to get i y, we stick x squared in the integral. To get i x, we stick y squared in the integral. And to get the product of inertia ixy, we put the product xy in there and we just integrate it out. But the integrand stays the same. And so I want to go ahead and show you how to do this with the calculator. So to integrate on the calculator, we go to F3. And the first option is differentiate, but we want to go down and we will choose integrate. And we push enter and it's a double integral so we have to do it again. So we've got an integral of an integral here and I'm going to do the area one first and when we do the area we just integrate 1. So 1 is because it's 1 times dy dx and the first one we're going to integrate on y and then we have to and we put commas between these things. Then we put the lower limit which is x squared divided by 25 plus parenthesis 5 minus x close parenthesis divided by 100. So that's the lower limit and then we put a comma and then we we'll put parenthesis x divided by 5 close parenthesis raised to the point 5 and that would be the square root of 5 over x and then we close the parenthesis and what we're doing there is closing the parenthesis on that first integral and we've integrated on y and now we want to integrate on x and uh, the lower limit on x is 0 and the upper limit on x is 5 and we close the parenthesis and we press enter and it will go out and find the answer and that is the area and it even uses the pretty print up here to show us what we integrated so you can look at that and see that you've done it correctly. Once you set this up then you can do all of these other integrals really fast because all that changes is the integrand. Instead of integrating one we'll integrate other things. So I'll come down here and I push the right arrow to get it to the right side and I'll come, well maybe I should push the rest left arrow, I don't know, I have to go all the way across over there and here we integrated 1. And so to get x bar a, I, I want to change that to x. And, th and that's all I'm going to do. And I push enter. And there's the centroid, x centroid times a. So I would take that number, divide by the area that I got on the previous and get x bar. I'll do it right here. I go in to get the y bar integral. I just come in and I change that to y and press enter. And this, uh, when I divide that by the area, that would give me the y location of the centroid. If I want the moment of inertia around the x-axis, I want y squared in there. So I would go and, and put y squared for the integrand and push integral. And that would give me the moment of inertia around the x-axis. If I want the y-axis, I come in and I need to x squared and 
and then uh, that would be the moment of inertia around the y-axis and if I want the product of inertia um, then I have to change that I need to integrate x times y. Be sure and put the times in there. And uh, that would give me the product of inertia, 2.01. We have some races in my class sometimes to see if we can get all these things, you know, the x-centroid, y-centroid, all of the components of the moment of inertia in less than one minute. And most students get where they can do it. It's a very useful tool.